Okay, next thing we wanna do is go ahead and prepare the fireplace. So we're gonna use a red fondant for that. Just dry this area off. So I've got my red fondant right here. Put some cornstarch down. Okay, so I need to make sure that it's big enough for this, which it is. And the next thing, we're gonna need our pattern. And I have a couple of things right here. These are little um, impression mats. They're brick impression mats. So there's this one with the small brick, and then this one has larger. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. What you do is you just place this down and press. Okay, and I might need it to be a little taller. So then you have to match up these little markings and press again. Okay, so I overlapped it basically on the marks to, to press in again. And I might need to do it over on this section. So just kind of line some of these up. You can feel it when it goes into those grooves and then push down. Okay, that's how you extend it. All right, so pop this down, take the pizza cutter and cut. And then I would cut our opening. Carefully flip that over. Try not to stretch it too much when you flip it over. And then some water on the back or gel or shortening. Whatever you have near you. And flip this back on over. Okay, now, and I don't necessarily follow the line of the cookie. See how the cookie actually curves out a little here and down here? I'd much rather you actually just make straight lines because your eye is going to pick up the straight lines. If you actually follow the cookie um, and make it curve, um, it's not going to look as good. So keep your fondant, or even if you're doing royal icing, keep, keep straight lines. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is actually go ahead and take some royal icing in white and then just kind of go inside these little in the hole areas here. Before it dries, if you just take a brush, a little bit of water on it, and then just brush over. You can also take the back of a spatula and kind of get go like this to get it down in the cracks, and then go back over it with the water. So after I finish this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the back of the fireplace, this one right here, uh, the same way 